Hi, so I want to show you one way that you can display various reports connecting to a web service or an OLEDB data source and pulling them into pivot tables. Uh, specifically, Excel pivot tables. Uh, this is Excel 2010, but uh, you could use Excel 2007 or 2003. Um, here I have a uh, dashboard or what we would consider like a Excel dashboard with an Excel and um, here we have different um, Excel pivot charts um, that you can drill into if I click on the detail and then I can get the individual pivot table and then I can uh, click back to dashboard to get the uh, uh, charts themselves so if I want to drill into a dashboard, for instance, the service order metrics here, I'm going to drill into that. And you can see here I have a pivot table. Well, if I right click the pivot table and I click um, show field list, drag this over here so you can see it. You can see um, there are various columns here that I'm pulling in that I can drag into my field list. So I can either drag them directly into my pivot table or below into uh, different portions. So like um, right now I have date, manage resource, cost, revenue. Um, so let's say I want to uh, click on manage resource um, and I can drag that out. Actually, I'll do it from here. Let's do it from here. Drag that out, right? And so now I have everything by date. So um, let's say I want to drag in service order duration. Um, I'm going to drag it here next to date. And now I have that in my pivot table. And so I can drill in, drill out. I can arrange my columns. Actually, what we need to do here to uh, to actually allow us um, to uh, arrange columns, we need to come in here and we need to go to display and we need to go to classic pivot table layout. That allow us now, uh, we should be able to then move our columns there. So yeah, so now I can, I can come in here and drag in, drag out columns directly out of the pivot table. Manage resource. I'm gonna drag that in. Um, number, number of server sorters service. I'm gonna drag that in. Um, you know, pretty much whatever you want to do, you can drag in, drag out columns out of your pivot table, and then you can also dynamically filter on them. Let's say I only want technician. Let's say I only want route. I want to get rid of truck and technician. Okay, that's done get rid of route, click technician only, drag out service to order technician. So you can see um, you can do, uh, and let's choose 2009. Yeah, so you can see you can drag in, drag out columns, uh, you can um, order them however you want, you can filter upon anything you want. Um, it's pretty much on the fly reporting dynamic drag and drop and then now I have this connected to a data source so I could come in here click on the refresh button and refresh my data source so this when I click the refresh button it goes out hits the database that's connected to pulls the data down into the pivot table and you have the latest and greatest data and then now you can data mine it here in the pivot table as you want